Oh boy, oh boy. It is Saturday morning, ladies and gentlemen, or actually Saturday afternoon. I am actually at work right now. Think I'm ditching? Nope. I'm doing marketing, handing out these little uh, coupons for uh, buy one, get one, uh, buy a big yellow cup, get a free classic sandwich, and buy a big yellow cup and get two free tacos. So, yes, Dickie sells tacos, by the way. Free advertisement, shout out uh, to myself, because I work there. But I just wanted to mention that today is a fantastic day, and after this, I'm actually going to my sister's play. That is interesting. She's doing Romeo and Juliet. No, she's not Romeo, and no, she's not Juliet. Um, but I'm going to go there, and I'm going to hopefully enjoy it and see how uh, see how that is. So I'm going to get going because technically I'm on the clock, and um, yeah, I'm going to go on. And this guy's playing his music. Follow me. All right, no, go ahead. All right, I'll see you guys later. like the set, so. No, I had to have it. Oh, the, oh, it's a, uh, it's a. Uh, Wilmer. Ah, my back! So today is Tuesday morning, and I've got to go pick up some stuff from like Walmart or something, you know? And so I'm walking, and uh, my neighbors have a couch out in the front. I'm like, huh, I don't know what this is all about. Big sign on it that says free, so it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, it's, it's a Tufan, by the way. I, I, I think that's, yeah, I think I'm right on that. As in, that's the word where it doubles as a bed. 
Um, so I thought, okay, let me go. Let me go check it out. You know, I was, I was getting a feel for the couch. You know, it's like, hey, this isn't like, this isn't crappy. This isn't like they're getting rid of it. Rid of it because it's junk. Looks like they're getting rid of it because there's like no room or something. It's a, it's a nice couch. So, knock on the door. I'm like, hey, so, what's up with this uh, couch out front? Is you just give it, uh, getting, uh, getting rid of it or something? She's like, yeah, we're just trying to get rid of it right now. I'm like, oh, well, what's wrong with it? You know? She's like, oh no, nothing, nothing wrong with it. It's, it's like practically new. It's we're just, we just don't have the space for it. So I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll take it off your hands for you. So I have a couch that's gonna be in my room now. And it doubles as a Tufan, so if anyone comes to spend the night, they can sleep on the couch, or the Tufan, or the little bed that it doubles as. Legit. I think I made a good deal here. So, I don't know. You guys are probably screaming at me, don't take free furniture. Eh, chill. But I am going to go continue and get the stuff that I was going to get originally. So I'll see you later. I'm an idiot. It's not a Tufan, it's a futon! So this is my town. Just a normal sidewalk, right? All's good, you know? Just normal, straight sidewalk. Oh man, I'm so glad that nothing's gonna come in between the straightness of the sidewalk and me walking in a straight line. Wait a minute. Hang on, what's this, it curves? Hang on, why is this straight sidewalk suddenly make a little curve Cur wow curve because they decided to put like a little drainage pipe or something right there i don't even know what that is and i gotta walk all the way around it good on you wow well it's a good thing we got that all that curviness out of the way now i can just continue walking on a straight you know just it's a shame that one little curve had a room on this perfectly straight sidewalk well, i'm glad that's all over that's all behind us literally that's all behind us Nothing but uh, nothing but straight, nothing but straight on through here. Uh, oh wait, what? What's that? It curves again? Ah, come on! Why are you messing with my straight sidewalk for? Why has it got a curve? At least this one's got some shade. What? What is? What is the source of this curveness? Oh, they did it again. How uh? I'll go to put a sewage drain right there. Well, at least it can't get any worse than this. So I told you I got a couch. I'm on my couch. It fits perfectly. Like, I've got about eight inches there. Six inches there. Perfect. And I was able to get this guy plastered up against the wall. Not plastered. There's like some sort of a sticky thing to where you can like pretty much tape it up against the wall. And so I've got that all hooked up. And so I've actually got a lot more room than I thought I was going to. And doubles as a bed. Which, by the way, goes all the way to like the very end over there. It, not like... I've got maybe three inches when I stick out the uh, the actual bed of it. But yeah, I've got a couch in my room now, and I'm happy about it. You guys want to see some firebending magic? It's Wednesday morning, and you notice that one of these isn't lit? It's because it's hard to get my hand in there without getting burned. But what if I just do this? Firebending magic. What's his name, Zuko? I think his name is Zuko from uh, Avatar Last Airbender. It's been a while since uh, since I saw that, but if I'm right, you can call me Zuko from now on. Uh, I'm just going to scar my face. I don't know if I want to do that now. I'm starting to regret that. But I'm a firebender, so watch out. Everything's going to change when I come to town. <laughs> So we're going to have another talk in the dark, it seems. This time, not really a life lesson I'm trying to uh, to explain to you guys. Not really any sort of a concept. 
just some advice as to what not to do in the workplace. Okay, so I haven't talked to you guys very much. Oh, now it's not dark. I haven't talked to you guys very much about my job. That's because it's not very exciting to talk about. I go to work, I serve food, I prepare food for the next day, I go home. However, there comes a time when enough is enough and I need to talk about it. So I have a coworker. Oh no, here, there's a lot of backstory actually to this. So the, the store I'm working at is failing and going to be going out of business if it keeps, get, if we keep getting the, uh, the lack of, of business that we are. We've lost one of our best workers. Just about a month ago, he went into the Air Force. One of the best workers. In fact, no, the best worker there. Better than the manager was. We just recently had another coworker walk out and just never come back. And our manager just got demoted. And the, and the, the manager from another town is stepping in. So I'm here. There are four workers working in the store. Five, if you if you count the the random times when a worker from the from one of the other stores comes on in. And so, I've only been working at Dickies for two months. My coworker has been working there for three months, so that grants her seniority. However. When the other day, just after Mother's Day, when my manager got demoted, things changed. The other manager stepped in. And so he gave my coworker uh, an extra dollar's raise. And that's pretty good. Good for her, you know? She's always telling me how, how um, she needs this job. And so, I'm like, okay, take it. You deserve it. But I regret thinking that because she does not deserve it anymore. The first day after getting that pay raise, I was closing with her. She let all her friends in. They all ate for free. They all walked around back, back, where we're working, trying to clean up. Just let them all walk around back there and get the, get the barbecue sauce and all that stuff because we were cleaning up. It was like the wild, wild west. Lately, she has been kind of pretending she's untouchable, almost. She's been trying to teach me things that I already know. Because, oh shit, now it's not even there. Now it's dark again. She's been trying to teach me things that I already know because she thinks that she knows all that. She's only been working there for an extra month than I have. I already know these things. And yes, there are a lot of new changes. We're changing up the way that we're doing things. I understand that. But she's teaching me about how we need to be faster and we need to be cleaner and more efficient. And she's breaking every single one of those things that I that she said. She's not doing them. Good example, today we actually had a dinner rush. I was working the block, which is basically where we actually prepare the main meal. And she was working the cash register. So I jumped on block, she jumped on register. Then, I'm over here, I'm making the entire meal, and she is on the register, and she tells me I need to speed up. And I look over, and she's got like three three orders she hasn't even gotten to yet. And I was like, I think I'm fine. And I kept going my normal pace. She didn't like that. In fact, later on, I was preparing the meat for the uh, for the morning. And she said, well, there's a customer coming up and you need to be faster on the block. Why don't you go over and, ser- and serve that person and uh, help that person so you can, you can 
you can um, practice getting fast on the block. And so I was like, hey, I think I'm fine. You were kind of getting backed up as it is. If I had been going faster like you want me to, you would have been in even more of a mess. And keep in mind, with that pay raise that she got, her new title technically is assistant manager to the manager that we kind of don't have, but we might. I'm not too sure exactly what's going on. I don't think anybody really does. But ever since she's gotten that new title, she's been kind of flaunting it around. And so I was like, hey, I think I'm actually fine on my speed. Um, I have never had a customer complain about how slow I was going. And I'm not going that slow as it is. She said, well, I told you to go help a pers- help the person, help the customer, so go do it. And I was like, you're not the fucking manager. You can't fire me. Get off your fucking high horse, you ignorant bitch. Of course, I didn't say this. I thought this. Later on tonight, actually, I just got off work. She was taking the beans in our in our our uh, our like aluminum container i think they're aluminum and uh, to be fair those uh those containers get pretty hot and when you got to carry them all the way to the uh, to the uh to the freezer or the the walk in technically you know it, if you, i'm not gonna complain when you drop the beans i've already done it once before so she did tonight. The reason why I'm bringing this up as an example, because when I when I dropped the beans, I cleaned it up instantly. When she dropped the beans tonight, the beans sat on the floor for 30 minutes, and she was standing within three feet of them doing the dishes. And so I wasn't going to clean up the beans. I wasn't going to do that because that's, that's her mess that she made, so she has to clean it up. And plus, at this time, I had already swept them out the entire lobby and gotten everything all cleaned up and whatnot, taken out the trash and everything. So I was like, I've already been doing a lot of work. I'm going to let you clean up the beans. And they sat around for 30 minutes. And so my advice to you is, one don't be an asshole. Not to your coworkers who are there to assist you. Number two, don't pretend you're all that. If you get a new title, it doesn't matter. You're doing the same work. Don't go bossing people around. If you have a, if you have a, a, a higher status than them, because you are not going to come off great. And number three. When you do things like this, you make the coworker you're working with want to quit his job and walk out on you on the spot. On top of all this, by the way, another little bit for you. Before any of this happened, back when my manager was still my manager, that coworker apparently was lying about the other coworkers that she was working with. Me, in particular. She would say I'd be out on my phone the entire time. I wouldn't. I'd be getting more work done than her. She would say that... She she would, let's say, clean clean up the front of the store and make a mess. And then say, I clean the front of the store. And I know all this because my manager told me and she said, it's okay, I know that she's lying. And I said, thank you. I'm glad that you understand that that's not true. My manager, when she was still my manager, would rant to me about said coworker. And this is the same coworker that is becoming a bit of a dictator when it's coming to actual work. And so that's why I'm going to quit. Because... I'm not, first of all, I need to be making more money than I am, and I'm not really getting, I'm not really getting great hours as it is there. And my coworker is an absolute bitch, and if I'm going to keep working with with her, I'm going to do what one of my other coworkers did, 
and I'm just going to walk out one day. But I'll probably talk to you guys maybe tomorrow. Hey, Casey. Um, I will see you guys later. Sorry about my little rants. I don't know if you guys appreciate this, but um, but yeah, uh, follow my advice. It um, It's definitely worthwhile. Hey, guys. So... Walking bike traffic right now, but this is the one time I can uh, record while it's daylight, so I'm gonna record right now. Um, it is Friday afternoon, uh, and uh, I'm working a split shift today. That means I went in at uh, noon, I worked for about two hours, and going back in to close again tonight. But you know how yesterday I said I was going to be quitting, I'm gonna be finding a new job? Well, here's an application for KFC. Uh, I just walked into um, IHOP, that's right over here and they're looking for hosts. I'm gonna walk over to uh, the Walgreens driver over here and also uh, one of these car washes over here and just pick up an application for both of those. I'm serious when I mean it. And so what happened was I, I mentioned that my coworker hasn't really been honest with uh, when it comes to the workers. Well, she told the new manager who I actually finally got to meet today, not on, uh, wasn't very, uh, wasn't a very good way to meet him, but basically she told the man that new manager that I am on my phone all the time, I don't do any work, I don't want to be there, and the second my shift ends, I'm clocking out and I'm heading out the door. But what she didn't mention was on Sunday when it was Mother's Day when I had to leave at two o'clock, how I stayed an extra hour because it was super busy, she didn't mention how yesterday she dropped the beans on the floor and spent 30 minutes just washing dishes, she didn't mention that. She also didn't mention all the times where she's told me I've done a great job on the lobby floor, swept, sweeping and mopping. She doesn't mention any of that stuff. She only mentions the things that aren't even true. So, I'm serious when I say, I'm crossing now, I'm serious when I say I'm, I'm getting a new job. And many people back me up on this, so. Um, I'm going to go right now. I just want to give you guys a bit of a, an update, letting you know that I was legitimately serious about this. Um, and I will see you guys. Actually, no, you know what? It's, uh, it's actually Friday, so I'm going to actually close up the video here because I don't think anything else is going to happen unless tonight is just horrible, which it shouldn't be considering the co-worker that I like to work with is working with me tonight. So I'm going to close off the video here, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I know this video wasn't exactly exciting, but if you made it this far, comment quit in the comments below and uh, let, me sh let me know, show your support. Anyways guys, click that subscribe button if you, uh, if you like this content and you want to see more of my, more of my boring daily life and uh, I will see you guys next week. Peace out.